It's Monday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Nima Akasha Zibari. Good morning, Murayo. How are you doing today? Beautiful to God. For How was your weekend? Beautiful, stressful. I was the driver for oh. the family, but I'm grateful to God. I'm wearing the birthday gift from MZ Oak on, on Instagram. She styles my hijab. Oh. Yes, she sent me a few things. And she styled me from dress to shoe today. So thank you. But um, I drove to Ota towards Ikola Road on Saturday. And I found there's a, there used to be an alternative to the Sherry Dimo Express Road that has always been. But it's still in the state that it was in 20, 2005 when I was still in the university in La Sudan. And I wish that the government would have done something by now. I was actually hoping when I drove there and I saw there was traffic on the major yeah. road to um, Ikmaja, that if I take this route, I know there's a road there. And I found it was still as bad as it used to be till you get to Akin right. side in the Ali Moshe local government yeah. area. So I want to speak for the people of Ali Moshe today. Please, government, this is a major alternative. And we need alternatives, whether or not we like it. To road. Not until we bring commercial right. activities there. OK. Concrete. How are you doing, Obia Jalu? <laughs> was a very the hair is <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it was a working weekend, uh, but um, my thing just fell into the hands of uh, one chance thieves. For real? Yeah. So she was leaving. She was going to uh, coming to the island from Bega, and then she took this. Uh, I think it was a cab. When she got inside, she realized that the driver and one woman were arguing destination. And then the driver quickly told her, please, let me just turn. I want to pick somebody. I want to pick my Afa. And then the driver picked up the Afa. The Afa turned to her, asked her how she was doing. She said, fine. And then the Afa requested for her phone. She said she didn't know what took over her. She submitted the phone to the man. The man was showing, oh, yeah, open this, open that, your account. And she, the guy cleared every. In fact, they took her to the POS. The woman that was apparently arguing with the driver was one of them, escorted her to the POS and they withdrew everything that was in her account and then gave her 1,000 naira to buy something for them that they were coming back and dropped her off on the road. So she was just walking around under the rain for over one hour. She would go and come back. Then there were some guys sitting around who saw her and was like, ah, auntie, you have been under this rain for one hour. What are you looking for? She said she's waiting for somebody. Who is the person? I don't know. Okay, let's call the person to find out when the person, and my phone is not here. They dispossessed her of every. When I saw her, I nearly cried. She had lost weight, nothing, everything was gone. The PA, this is, your video, this is my PA. So, so, so this is real. Yes, yeah, and it's story. happening again. Somebody else gave me somewhat similar yeah. story. It's happening again. People are, please, if you get into a vehicle and you see the driver arguing with somebody, that oh, is the time to calm down. Just, just, just calm down. Just calm down. I think mean. just stick to the Lagos designated uh, buses. 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 That's it, that's it because. Too. Comes. This is scary because I've heard stories like this and I always try to rationalize it. How do you um, sort of lose consciousness, consciousness. of what you're doing? So you're under kind of hypnosis. Yeah, yeah. No, she was hypnotized. Just, just, what some kind of, Everything kind of? gone. Hello. Wow. She's not here today, right? No, she, she can't be here. Show. I have to find can't a way to get her at least a little phone. For, yeah. she can't, she's lost contact. And she can't do anything right oh now. Goodness. You have to be very careful. Be careful, people out there. How are you, Maya? I'm doing fine. Um, on on um, Saturday was International um, Vultures International Awareness yeah, Day. Page. Yes, <laughs> and you know I did a short uh, a game. You did a, a yeah, it's a, just a little trivia and giveaway for five thousand naira. And Nigerians did not participate. Mm, and so my serious. question is: Is it that Nigerians do not want to answer questions? Mm. Serious it, questions. Yes, serious questions. Like is it that if I said best dancer? Yes. So come best on. dress. Yeah. Is that what we prefer than you know, to just even know? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, you couldn't have it. It was just simple questions. Three questions. If you know the roles, like three most important roles of the vulture in our environment. Um, three, uh, the name of the vulture in our three major languages and one other one I don't remember right away. And just two people responded. So the first person who responds, of course, gets the 5,000 Arab. I was just really shocked. But I'm just hoping that even though you did not participate, you spend time to look up these questions mm. and this vulture information. I understand how important they are 
in our environment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We like play too much. <laughs> <laughs> We're like serious right now. Nobody wants to think about it. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, these are tough times, as you know, yeah. but uh, we'll be all right. But God, I have to, to always remind Nigerians to get vaccinated. Please get your vaccines today. If you need more information, please go to Viral Facts to get more information. The vaccines are out. Take your friends, your family, your loved ones, all to the primary health care centers and the various designations for, designations for these vaccines. Please get your vaccines today. That's the only way we can combat this virus and reduce the fatalities we've been experiencing so far. Let's go on a break now. When we come back, we go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Right, we're going to start with the nation. Federal government moves to stop collapse of health sector. APC slams doors on parallel congresses. 22-year-old 22, 22 core member held for importing drugs. 1.6 trillion naira petrol subsidy threatens budget implementation. Presidency lists Buhari's achievements. Why Oshun returned to the 633 for education policy by Oyetola, and Jay's Bank secures $25 million Sharia compliance cash. Okay, which story is starting with? So, uh, the Joint Health Sector Union, Johesu, has served the federal government a, a 15-day strike notice. And we also know that the resident doctors have been on a two-week strike. Uh, the resident doctors are now moved by the suit filed by the federal government at the National Industrial Court an invocation of the no work, no pay rule. Uh, so the minister, just to avoid the collapse of the health sector, rushed, according to the report, to uh, Aso Rock, to um, Aso Villa, for consultation with the president. And he said he's ready to withdraw the suit if uh, the resident doctors agree to call off the strike. He's going to be meeting with Johesu tomorrow to end the planned strike. But the resident doctors are rejecting the gesture, saying until the MOU that they signed 120 days ago is being attended to. There are still doctors who have not been paid. The hazard allowance has not been given. They listed out all the problems that they are having. So whether you withdraw the suit or not does not concern them. They want to carry out the strike till the federal government does what it's needed to do. Okay. okay. Jai is gone. Yeah, Jai is gone. So this is good news to those of us who are looking for ethical financing. Jai is bank is an Islamic bank. Mm. And they've secured the $25 million. This is not the first time. It started in 2018. But for this year, they secured $25 million from the Islamic Corporation for Development. And this financing will help expand their customer base, also expand those to, and provide funds for those who are looking for Sharia-compliant financing. That's RIBA-free. Um, Interest-free. Interest-free loan, yes. So, <coughs> okay. So well, um, the presidency has listed the achievements of President Muhammad Buhari's administration since 2015. I have a few of them here. And he says one of it is that he, he signed the Petroleum Industry Bill. Two, he declared a 287 billion naira profit after tax by NNPC, the first in the 40 years since the establishment of NNPC. He launched the first national social investment program in the country's history and the largest in Africa and one of the largest in the world. Um, also brought about the restoration of the federal budget <coughs> of January to December cycle after more than a decade. Um, he signed in the Finance Acts of 2019 and 2020, Discrimination Against Persons with Disability Act in, of 2018, the Treasury Single, Act, um, Treasury Single Account. He said it started in 2012, no doubt, but the um, administration of the pre um, President Buhari expanded it across the entire mm. Um, government. Um, there's also the first president to start and complete a real project in Nigeria's history. Mm. Completed 12 inherited dam projects across the country and so many more. Right. The NCDC um, Act as well, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2011, <coughs> but so, was assented in 2018. So, so reacting to this, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, mm. Mr. Akola Olobodinho, was saying that, that we must be, the president must be ashamed of itself for because Nigerians are worse off than they were in 2015, according to him, even if all these achievements were true. Mm. Now, how has these actually impacted the lives of Nigerians? What is the value of a Nigerian life today, according mm. to him? 
Okay, Nima, you're going to take a story in Nation for a runoff? No, I think we're going to take already. Okay. So I was actually going to take subsidy, but in a nutshell, they're saying that subsidy, we paid, uh, we paid 1.63 trillion naira. By this, we're going to be paying 1.6 trillion naira subsidy by December. This last July that just passed, hmm. we paid 757 billion as subsidy. And this is after last year, March, they told us that they're going to take off subsidy because mm -hmm. obviously the, the, uh, the crude price it had dropped mm -hmm. significantly we're last year. And that's but now, as pay. they started climbing, they are paying with subsidy. And I'm tired of this subsidy conversation. Should I don't even want to hear it again. Off, back and off, forth, forth. <sighs> back and forth. Mm. Moving on to the punch. <clears throat> Looming hospital, hospital shutdown. Strike threatens ridiculous, um, says FG Nard, uni Union Flame Minister. Of government. Armed men kidnap Abuja <clears throat> pastor's wife and daughters. Ogun driver scones with 4.7 million naira company goods. <clears throat> Military officer plants drug in brother's house, reports to NDLA. Police begin manhunt for Shore brothers <clears throat> killers. PDP and defending very knock government. Presidency PDP differ on regime lists. And uh, VAT controversy, FRS may lose 2.4 trillion naira revenue to states. Yes, okay, I have this. this. Okay. Major headline. Mm. Mm. So, Joes, who is planning to go on strike, they've given the federal government 15 day ultimatum to the meet some of the attempts that they have you know, discussed with them before. Um, Joes, who consists of nurses, pharmacists, lab scientists, and other health workers. So, we're okay. not talking about a National Association of Resident Doctors alone now. This one is scary. Mm. But, you know, they said some of their issues include the adjustment of the consol consolidated health salary structure as was done with the consolidated medical salary structure since 2014. Payment of withheld April and May 2018 salaries of members and withheld right. salaries in the Federal Medical Center or the Josh University Teaching Hospital and the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital and the review of the defective implementation of COVID-19 special right. inducements and other than that story that yeah, 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 he said he had bought 1.1 kilograms of cannabis and then planted it in his brother's house and then went ahead to call on NDLEA to come and search his brother's house. Wow. Luckily for this brother, um, due to investigations, they were able to find who the supplier of that particular drug was. And that <sighs> supplier now um, named this military officer as a person who bought the drugs. So wow. that was how God saved this brother. I mean, wickedness just abounds. People are just I everywhere. So NDLEA to um, arrested a 22-year-old NYSC uh, member. He was coming in. He, he had imported, they said, four kilograms of drugged candies from the United Kingdom. Mm. And um, it was intercepted, <laughs> you know, in the cargo area. And, uh, well, he's been arrested. NDLA also intercepted a 1.2 kg cannabis concealed in cookies going to Dubai. Yeah. Another 920 grams of cocaine hidden inside synthetic hair. Yes. I mean, there's another one in spray cans going to Pakistan. I mean, they're just looking for different places, different avenues to send this thing. It's like they're, it's, they're desperately pushing for this um, drug trafficking. trafficking. Thank God to NDLE that is doing his job yeah. and doing it well. Yeah, and so hopefully yeah, this will yeah, men of the Ogun State uh, Police Command arrested a company driver, Oluwa Sheyo Yetunde, for allegedly absconding with goods worth 4.7 million meant for customer in Lagos. So the police also arrested other suspects that received the goods. So he diverted the goods from the day he picked it up and sold it at ridiculous prices to other two other persons who the police, after investigations, arrested. And this is becoming very rampant. Uh, I think last week, so the person who manufactures my handbags for me they sent it through a cab driver until today. We're looking for all the goods. Now, the loss is definitely on her because I haven't received my goods, but I'm just feeling terrible that she has to go back and use money to just make sure that she gets me the bags that I have paid for. And this driver is sitting pretty at home, spending money that you have stolen. Mm. It's, it's very, we, we need to mm. do better. No, so, so uh, there's a bit of confusion in Guinea. As you know, there was a coup yes. attempt that happened over the weekend. And uh, Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya had um, 
talking to the airwaves to say that they they've taken charge of the they, they have custody of the uh, of, um, of the president at the time and they're saying that they're going to restore democracy to the country according to him but the the minister of defense on the other hand was saying that they have they have control so there's still a bit of confusion we're not sure exactly the status right now but we're hoping that um um they'll be calm in the country but nigeria has condemned the coup um that happened in guinea and hoping that these can be resolved quickly so that um the people of guinea can have their presidents back okay of democracy um let's just find any other story let's go on a quick break i believe Do you might have any story you want to take there mm -hmm. uh, do we have Nobody time? took this i'm kidnapped i'm men kidnapped i just passed all yes right. i have the story so <laughs> yeah so uh this uh, particular pastor was not around i think about 11 p.m on saturday night and then armed bandits stormed into the house they broke through the fence opened the barbed wire got in they met only ladies in the house so they took the wife and i think their two daughters were kidnapped hmm. uh he's gone to the police they are trying to find ways to you know, arrest the armed bandits. Yeah. They are still searching for yeah. them. And he's appealing to the federal government to help him. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we go through the other parts of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. What's your beautiful, my essence, and my energy? My natural glow and my confidence. My freshness and fierceness. My beautiful is being me. Reveal your beautiful this beauty month with amazing discounts of up to 33% off select Nivea products in participating stores near you. Nivea, be you, be beautiful. It's scary, isn't it? Putting yourself out there. Ignoring the voices telling you you can't. Will you step aside or will you go for it? After all, what's the worst that could happen? So, keep trying. Don't stop. Believe in yourself and go for it. Aladana. Available in many variants to nourish you every step of the way. Thank goodness. Now that grandma is here, I can take my leave. My flight is in two hours, honey. You know how the traffic is. But honey, mm -hmm. you still need to drop me at off at TVC the hospital. TVC Communications, oh, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. 
But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. is restored back to that country as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Moving on now to Daily Sun. <clears throat> Governors disown federal government's over $480 million consultancy debt. Ohaneze hits Senator Bukachua over attack on Southeast. Dr. Strike FG talks tough. NDLE intercepts drugged candies from UK and naps 22-year-old importer. <clears throat> Is Governor Diri and bandits abduct district head, lawmakers' wife in Niger and Castina. Okay, Major Niger headline, yes, please. So, the Nigerian Governors Forum has warned all chief executive officers of banks and their compliance officers and uh, not to give value to promissory notes issued by the debt <coughs> management office. Allegedly, this is supposed to be for paying of consultants to the tune of 418 million US dollars. The Governor's uh, Forum said that um, it's an ST attempt to circumvent the rule of law and dissipate ardent cash. But these consultants had gone to court and they had um, gotten a federal high court judgment that, you know, presently the Nigerian Governor's Forum are challenging, which is why I suspect why is why the Minister for Finance decided to give them promissory notes. But mm. if the Nigerian Governor's Forum have gotten a stay of execution, I think that should be obeyed as well. And then they should finish it out in court. But the consultants are claiming that these monies are <coughs> monies for jobs that they did. They mentioned them in the papers. But million plus US dollars. Hmm. Said Ise Gogi Edwards, 159 million US dollars. Roy Nigeria Limited, OG1 for Orizu and Olai Tombelo, 142 million plus. There's some digits in front. US dollars and panic alert system, <laughs> security right. systems limited, judge Uber, those ones have 47 million US dollars as consultants mm. fees. Yeah. You mentioned men, is it the Ned yeah. we know? No, no, work it, they're right. Work it, they're right. Uh, not work it, not work Okay. So, uh, are you sure they're not mistaken? Okay. Okay. The exactly. number is in court. I think the Minister of Finance should be coming down. Yeah. Mm. You know, once you have a case in court, nobody can rush you into any right. payment. We need to move on to other stories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Igbo, yeah. uh, yesterday we were berating the Chairman's Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs, Senator Adamu Bukachua, uh, according to them for misguided attack on Southeast. And they said, the lawmaker representing Bauchinot reportedly said Southeast should be eliminated from Nigeria and not considered for presidency when he featured on a television program. So, Ohane Zendigbo is, you know, reacting and saying that the demand for presidency is within their uh, rights as Nigerians. And so they are asking the Senate to call him to order. They are asking that he give an apology and restitution. And mm. the Senate should reprimand him publicly to deter others who do not understand allegiance to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That we are supposed to be, a, a senator should not be giving such misguided, you know, comments without provocation. We are supposed to be working towards one Nigeria and it cannot be allowed. So uh, I have the story on uh, PIA. So the governor of Bayelsa State, uh, mm -hmm. Senator Duyeji, du has described the PIA, that's the Petroleum Industry Act, as evil and oppressive mm -hmm. to the people of Niger Delta. According to him, um, um, mm -hmm. the act was paltry and would continue to be opposed until justice is served. He said that uh, it was wrong for us to actually be budgeting 30% for exploration in the... In the This 3% that was allocated to the Niger Delta is ill-conceived, dehumanizing, and unacceptable to the Niger people, and the act that will be repealed and amended. Moving on now to Vanguard. Terror, royal father kidnapped, killings choke Niger and Castina. 
Strike. Standoff as federal government doctors tangle over no work, no pay. Road dualization, satellite town residents fall under one Lagos government against planned demolition. First Bank launches LIT app, reinforces commitment to put customers first. State of the nation, Nigeria may become ungovernable, says Malafia. Adamawa closes 30 boarding schools over insecurity. Guinea in turmoil as soldiers claim takeover, and Buhari has broken many jinxes. Okay. In Adamawa yes, State, uh, the, state uh, the state government has closed 30 out of 34 junior boarding secondary schools. This was made by the Commissioner, Ministry of Education and <laughs> Human Capital Development. It says that um, starting today, 6th of September, about 30 of the government junior secondary schools have now become day schools. And this is because, of course, we know the stories of the constant kidnapping, banditry going on in, the, um, in that area. And that because of how young these children are, they are even more vulnerable. Because junior secondary school, we know, usually between 10, 11, 12, it, they are even more vulnerable to attacks like this. And so um, all the schools will be day schools, except four schools that were named that would continue being um, boarding schools. But all the children who, um, most of the children will also be reassigned to other schools, public schools closer to mm. their own communities and their vicinity. So that's what the state is doing for now. This, I would say, is just a short-term measure. This cannot be the long-term measure. Mm. Because if you take them out of boarding schools and still put them in day schools and do not attend to the banditry and kidnapping that's going on, nothing stops them from attacking day, day schools. schools. True. Right. True. Okay. Yeah, the major story, major headline. Uh, so, um, bandits are killed ward head of Masaku Malamyahuza in Gundawa area of Katsina State and abducted the wife and two children of the lawmaker representing the Bakuri constituency in the State House of Assembly, Dr. Ibrahim Kurami. They also kid uh, kidnapped the district head of Wawa in Bogu local government area of Niger State, Al Haji Mahmoud Ahmed Aliyu, and the Dodo of Wawa and uh, the Northern Elders Forum are asking the governors to go beyond imposing just the lockdowns on communities that are besieged because just imposing lockdown is going to further impoverish the people who are suffering this insecurity. That what they need is effective military assault on the bandits, and they are also saying that. Um, they should eliminate the perception of the communities are on their own. They need to do something so that this does not continue yeah. happening, not just locking down schools, shops, you know, uh, 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 businesses, but they need to do more with their military presence. Mm, 78 year old brother of the Kasna SSG2 was also kidnapped. 78 year old brother. Very, really sad. So, okay, Nima. Town, um, residents oh, the dualization. Yes, for the dualization. They petitioned the state government through their layer, Femi Falano to stop the dualization um, planned, uh, and planned demolition of houses along the Mara Road. They are claiming in the petition, of course, as we already know, that this area was completely conceived as a reserved residential community at the time it was planned. And based on the original master plan, the client, no, none of them, none of the residents contravened any building regulations mm. because they built along with the master plan that existed at the time. And um, I think the, the, the government should be very sensitive to these people. They've suffered for a, a very long time due to the commercialization of the residential area that they live in. They should talk to them in a very sensitive way. Okay, and let's move on to the point, which comes every Monday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cabinet reshuffle, inside story of sacked ministers. It's a long story, so if you want to go and get information, we couldn't even read it. I didn't even bother. Nigeria attracts $16.6 billion foreign and $255 billion naira local investment into the free trade zone. Um, man, 23, killed, sets own father ablaze in a boy. APT truck drives on amidst internal disagreements. Insecurity Nigeria playing with Somalia, Lebanon, Yugoslavia scenarios. Is Farumbi. Okay, I want to take that story by Farumbi, but it's also very in-depth because an interview was an editorial okay. by okay, this so one. So shorter one. billion foreign investments into the economy in the 20 years between 2001 and 2020. It also says that it attracted over 255 billion naira at local investments into mm. the country. It has generated over nine 
billion naira as revenue between January and May. Mm. Uh, job creation as well between the period 2005 and 2015, over 40,000 direct jobs and 160,000 indirect jobs. And he says that it has actually achieved this through dedicated leadership, committed and exceptional quality of members of staff of the authority. And this has resulted in the local and foreign investments that we're seeing. And they're also expecting about over a 6 billion naira investment you know, to materialize in the Liberty Oil and Gas Free Trade Zone. So, yes, well so done. Good, um, positive news there. A 23-year-old man, David Nwori, uh, who has been remanded at the Abakeleke Correctional Center, Ebony State, for allegedly slaughtering and setting his own father ablaze. Mm -hmm. So, according to his confession, mm -hmm. he said that there's this particular spirit that takes hold of him and he would this the, the voices in the head would just be telling him to do this and do that. And that particular day he was alone with his 75 year old father, butchered him and set him ablaze. Um, a few days after that happened, he also heard a voice in his head as well. He said the spirit took over him and he was about committing suicide in one a pool that was close to the uh, house till neighbors got hold of him till the spirit left him he said after he killed his father the spirit would just leave him and then come again Excuse so he's been friend. yeah so he's been <laughs> remanded at the correctional center the case is still being you know, but some spirit. people call it spirits. Yeah, it's, it's not spirits. So when you hear it's voices, so he's asking for um, it could just be two different names for the same thing. Deliverance. Yeah, that well, they should deliver him and science, please. Yeah. 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 They are Do demons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nigerian Tribune. Let's us move very quickly, please. <laughs> Let's find a story not taken. Apprehension as FG woos investors for two point four seven trillion naira <laughs> loan. <laughs> Government to prosecute teacher for allegedly defining 14-year-old pupils in Niger. Hard times as prices of food soars by 122% in 12 months. Let's take a short time of communication closure of schools will worsen citizens' lives in the north. Okay, let's quickly take those stories. Let me down. just take the major okay. headline. Okay. So on October 13th, the <coughs> Minister for Finance, Budget and National Planning will embark on a global roadshow to convince investors in, to invest in his proposed $3 billion euro bond needed to Part finance our 2021 budget deficit. The minister would also later do, raise another three billion dollar through multilater multilateral and bilateral borrowing to fund budget deficit. And according to her, 2021 budget, uh, we, we have an approval to raise this amount of 50% uh, of our budget deficit locally and 50% externally. We are planning to do about half of that in euro bonds and the other half through other windows such as multilateral and bilateral sources. And people are asking that as at March this year, the federal government owed 26.9 trillion of the total 33 trillion conventional public debts. The amount was besides the 15 trillion long overdue to the CBN, um, which they have already you know, changed the terms into a long-term instrument. And an existing 26.9 trillion conventional um, uh, foreign and domestic loans debt servicing in the first five months of the year, which got about 97% of our overall revenue. Mm. We need to slow down mm. on so these things. The actual, actual, yeah, yeah, the Child Rights Agency under the office of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello of Niger State have confirmed the inauguration of a committee to investigate the alleged sexual assault on 14 pupils, so 14 children oh. of Central Primary School Karabonde by a teacher Usman, they didn't uh, mention his surname. So he yeah. did not only defile the students, he also gave them HIV. Right. Oh. So they've constituted that uh, committee and they're going to be questioning him. He had confessed already and the yeah. case is going to be Okay, that's up. all we can take on Front Page Review. When we return, we'll move on to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. 
It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress. Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All tip in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you our viewers will have the opportunity to call in and share your views after all it's your view join us on your view 9 a.m to 11 a.m for a fantastic conversation don't miss it how we're doing guys is the makeup in progress makeup check are the scripts on the prompter script check are we set in the pcr all tip in place pcr check clock is ticking time is racing lights are Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Thanks for staying with us. So, this last weekend, eh, everywhere on social media was just flying left, right, and center with marital issues. With the growing trend of bringing our personal affairs to public, the court of public opinion, and looking at all that has happened in this past couple of days, with some of our celebrities, media, family matters help in any way solve problems. We'd like to hear your thoughts on this because this is something. 
some, some can say it's the new normal. Some will say we're in a new world where everything is on social media. In fact, in the next 10, 15 years, your entire life will be viewed by the world. Mm -hmm. So in preparation for that, is it therefore okay for us to share our innermost issues with the world on this global platform? Let's hear your thoughts on this. You can call us on 0812705387, 0913907698. You can also send us messages on YouTube and on Facebook. We'd like to hear your thoughts. All right, so I think there are like three major issues that happened this weekend. Major. Major family issues. I mean, we'll, we'll go into the issues maybe by Thursday when, when we talk about family. Mm. But the real crux of how, how functional is social media Social today, media courts. Social media court in helping you resolve internal issues? I think that's, that's a real question here. I think I would um, start by saying that Nigerians, life is hard enough for us, so we love entertainment. Anything that makes us laugh, anything that you know, distracts us from what we are facing personally. So that social media space has brought everybody together. Small, big, mighty, we're all on the same level on social media. So whatever you post there, believe me, another person takes it as entertainment. So before you make a post, me, I always ask myself, what is my intention? What do I intend to achieve by putting out this picture or putting out this dance where probably I'm shaking some things and do some things? I always ask myself. Then I ask myself a second question. Am I ready to live with the consequences mm. of what I am posting. Right. Because sometimes you have a good intention, you post it out there, and it backfires. Will I own the consequences with my chest? So I've been under fire a couple of times on social media where I said something on the show, and you know people took it, and you know. But I, anything I say on this table, I say with my chest. Mm. So when it backfires, I will chest it <laughs> and just be looking at mm. everybody, you know. So. When we have that at the back of our minds, we will always remember that after the dust settles, how do I want this issue to be remembered? How do I want my family mm. to be remembered? Okay. So if we have that at the back of our mind, everything is not entertainment. Nigerians right. play too much. They will mm. start doing memes out of a serious situation. Mm. If you have that, you know that ah, I can't post just everything out there. Let me get your thoughts on yeah, So host. for me, I would say... Um, Without a doubt, nothing good comes out of um, that. Nothing. I mean, if it happens that something positive happens, then good for you. But usually it's not because um, I've used this example once. There's this um, um, advert then about, it was a bank advert. So a man is trying to raise funds. He went to a mechanic and was talking to him about all the things he needs the money for. Of course, the mechanic didn't understand. Went to a market woman until finally met this banking person that works in the bank. And then a conversation was what he wanted. And that's how I see social media. When you come to social media, you're just talking to people of different types of knowledge and um, expertise and people that really do not know you or care about you. So... If you're looking to solve a problem, mm. then you have to go to the places where you can solve, solve the problem. problem. If it's a um, matter of fam if it's a family matter, then it has to be with the people in your family and people that love and care for you. It has to be about people who know you and who want your best interest at heart. Mm. The truth is social media has become a place for many people to just relax. Mm. You may have some very um, um, positive, intending people. And I found that with most people who wish you well, they're not on social media responding. So mm. there's not going to be an army of good people fighting your cause because mm. usually those good people are facing their, their business mm. and, you know, they may feel sorry for, oh, I'm so sorry this has happened to you, but they will not engage in that mm. trolling mm. That, and that vile that goes oh. on. Mm. Social media is not a place to go. This a platform to push their brand. We have celebrities where we hear all the time that um, um, popularity is not always, it does not matter right. you know, what type it is, as long as you're on the lips of people and okay. then it makes you um, um, well, relevant. more relevant, you're trending, your and then you're, you're right there on the lips of maybe right. people are endorsing or right. brand people and things like that. Yeah, let me get your initial thoughts on this.
So this is my thoughts. I, we talked about this on Friday, I think. Me, my people say now, they will say, if a goat is on the roof of a house, the whole world will pay attention. And you that you have some privacy, you that you have something to hide, you want to live privately. You don't hide in your corner and be beaten drum. You're hiding and beating drum. These people, when they come out, they claim to have mental health. There is, you know, they're, they're venting, they need to rant, they need to talk. And then they now, after you've done that, you now ask for privacy. You put it out first, and you're not saying to people, don't talk about it. And you know, it's time to speak up. It's a speaking up generation. And it's, don't confuse, confuse us. us. Right. It's one you want to do, do one. Mm. You know, if you have to vent, like the, uh, the Benue State one, where the Benue State government the governor and his wife intervened in one yeah. couple's issue, Maybe you are hoping for that result, and that's what you want to do. Yeah. You're hoping in general for something as well. You mm. know that maybe at the end of it, yeah, something good will come something out. Something good will come yeah. out, but something bad might come May out. Come out. Yeah. So you know now come and say, yeah, it's okay that you're on people's lips, or uh, you just ask for privacy now. Private issues are private issues. Mm. The social media is good for public business markets and... said earlier because yes there's a good and there's a bad so as a person many people will say they're not coming to so ask for solving to solve my problem we're just coming to vent because truth that some there are some women that are not heard in their small corner of the world nobody hears them their families they're not here they're complaining to family loved ones pastors to everybody nobody wants to hear them social media is that avenue where when the whole world hears what i'm going through maybe they'll come to my aid that's one angle and there's an angle of celebrities. Your life is already out there. Mm. So as a celebrity, you, you don't feel like, hide. there's nothing I'm hiding already. Everybody already knows our issues. <laughs> they know I have this mad drama, that you have this drama. Let's not, we might as well just put the whole thing out there because we're already public figures. So we'll discuss that when we come after the break. Right? Life, I mean, we see Kim Kardashian, the entire mm. what, What's the way forward in... In being a celebrity and sh stay tuned, your view will be right back. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, curtsy East flash and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home 
for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, we're talking about putting our issues out on social media. And I was saying that celebrities have opened, they practically opened the doors of their life to many people. We are interested. And the reason why we can play judge and jury on their life, because we have information. Mm. We know that you, you have this, you have that one. You, you have, you have two, two, two children. You have 10 children. You have, you know, we have the information. That's who they are. Mm, because uh, as far as mm. we are concerned, you have given us content to work with. Hey, and and we okay use the it. content. <laughs> <laughs> but I just realized that um, mm. there are different types of people. There are mm. private people yeah. and there are public people. Exactly. Now, if you become a celebrity as a private person, you will still be private. We have celebrities who you don't know anything about. There are celebrities in Nigeria who they got married. We don't know. They have kids, we don't know. We don't know anything about them. We just see their work, we see their social life, and we don't see anything about their family. They are naturally private people. So the celebrity status did not remove it or change them from being who they are. They are people like me. They use rope to be tiny in my house. I'm naturally a public person. Right. So if you leave me, I will put everything on social media. Yeah, right. The day they go, you marry and get me myself, I'll go there, I'll be right, I'll rant, I'll write and right. everything, I'll post it there. Right. I'm naturally like that. Right. So it's just because I'm not paying attention to how social media but is treating is... people yeah. who put their lives out there. That's why I'm becoming cautious. Yeah. Okay, but well, PC, yeah, my question, I'll come to take this call because you being private or not private doesn't, it's, not, it's not the function of your ability to, I mean, your, your successful marriage yeah. is not a function of your privacy or no privacy. No, 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 not at all. So it's, it, you, you can it's be a public person yeah. and still have a good marriage. Yes, that, of that's course. That's the question I'm trying of to ask. Of course. Yeah. I'm taking this call, I'll come to Mariam. Ikena, are you there? You're holding on. Very well. Yes, I'm with you. You're live. Go ahead, please. Pardon? The volume is quite low. I can't hear you. Ikena, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, actually, like what you are saying, uh, as a telepathy, it's not really ideal to expose your space to the public. Because they actually don't like you. And it's not everybody who are your friends. Anything you've taken out publicly is not a secret. Mm. Okay, especially when it comes to marriage, you don't discuss your mind issue with the public. Because it's quite very, very bad. My issue are issues that you're supposed to be between the family sex. But when it's hard to the public, there are people that will condemn actually some part of what you have done. There's not anybody out there that will love you and love your family. Mm. But the family is very much. You should accept that because you don't have to say that the family is very much the same. It's not the same, but it's not the same. You can't come outside and watch the same thing and get the same thing to the same thing. Right. Right. Yeah. Mary, let me come to you. We live in a patriarchy society. Men have the, the... This is a society where women feel as though that their voices are not heard. And we now have this tool called social media where I feel like, okay, now I can be heard. I am going through this um, turmoil in my, in my marriage and I can use this to vent. Should we judge them for that? I think it's not... The person, if the person, as BC explained earlier... If you're willing, if you feel that you will still get um, what exactly you're seeking, 
within all the trolling and for you that's more important to you they can troll me all they want but at least i know one or two people will be able to answer my 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 problem then that's fine so if or you're that way spouse for the yeah. strong bag that he is okay so that's another part i wanted to say that mm. sometimes you don't bring your own issue to social media people bring it for you. for you so here i am a man quietly private in my house and then my wife brings out our issue i'm not the one that brought it out I, it's this person that has brought it out so now it now depends on this person who his life has now been made public okay. knowledge to come and refute what has been said to participate in that conversation or, or just keep quiet and then when you keep quiet then you would leave with the perception that people have about you they don't know your story they haven't heard you mm. but someone has painted a picture yeah. about your life mm. and now are you willing now to accept that this is the picture that people mm. have about with. your life and say that way so sometimes you find people coming out to say because So mm. she, you've, put the, you've compartmentalized this conversation. Yeah. So there's a situation whereby you and I are married, we're celebrities, where all our lives are in the room, like the Kardashians, and anything that happens, we know that we are seeing everything. But there's one that you are the celebrity, I choose to be private, you bring out our issues, I am not compelled to go yeah, out. To so respond. that forces me and that forces my hand to come to the public. But Neymar, let me, let, let me come to you. Even the end. Kardashians, we didn't know that um, Kanye had some issues that were mental to a few years. So it's not every issue that we still put out there. Sure. Yes, I, think so if, I think if you have gold, you guard it. Mm -hmm. If you have diamond in your house, you won't put it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. You put it somewhere safe, in a, in a vault. On that box. <laughs> I don't know. Compartmentalize <laughs> what is important to you and guard it. Mm -hmm. The things that, you know, sometimes people don't know that calling out your spouse Your choice, and you put it out, and you think I'm just calling him out for who he is. You mm. call. who are you? See, there are ways to go about these things. It's just a tough road. If you're in a bad marriage and you think this marriage cannot be salvaged, it cannot work. Yesterday, someone at the event, my friend launched her studio kitchen yesterday, and she was sharing an experience that there was a time in her marriage she was in court all through every day asking for divorce. But this is a marriage after how many years? Over 20 years, they're celebrating. She's, she, in fact, she's looking so young. I was saying, ah, ah, auntie. And all that time, she was looking big and out of shape. It was mm. due to depression and all of she that. But both of them were dealing with it. Don't isolate and think. I just not know how. Telling a friend's in a friend's marriage. And I was saying to the wife, I have been with this person all through my youth. And mm. I know him. He does not know he jacked. This thing you're blaming him for. He has no idea how to make it work. Yeah. So sometimes you are just sitting in your own uh, balloon and saying no, uh, and then you go to social media and then you call this person out. You are dealing with him. Let me ah, but you are not dealing with the issue. <laughs> Let me take this call. Oh, Labi, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. Good morning, your life, please. Go ahead. You are not partying with the marital Do you know your family? We don't even know your happy side, we don't know your sad moment or anything. Bringing it to see out there. And if you want to go, look the life of Steve Harvey. He can never call his family or anything, mm -hmm. only when they are Steve happy. Harvey. You can't talk about their sad moment. <laughs> Thinking out your sad moment, they are only coming on social media to read about this. Some will mock you, some will sympathize with you. But, okay, thank you, Wallaby. There's, there's an angle of we get off what the, the emotions we get off feeding off public sympathy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, so let's just use the Olaju Moke story, for example. She was a bread seller that suddenly got to, to, became a, a celebrity, right? Now, oh, she was a bread seller, now she's this. Mm -hmm. They took her pictures and everything. And imagine of Olaju Moke now comes out with a marital issue. Mm. We all want to support her because she has, she has fed off back, back to that equity. I see me, oh, did all, without my suffering, oh, mm. this, this man wants what? to do mm. this to me, oh, mm. and we come out and we still have that sympathy. So that feeding of that public sympathy is probably the currency mm. these people are playing with. Saying, yeah. you know what, you guys already sympathize that I'm going through so much in this marriage. Come mm. on, see, come on, save me, oh. Yeah, but we should also understand that the social media space is a is it has a mixed multitude. So why do 
difference between love and hate. Today they love you, tomorrow they hate you, depending on the mood. Everybody woke up <laughs> on their side, of, depending <laughs> on the mood. Yes, so today, I remember somebody was telling me one time, said, some days they will hate you. Some days they will love you. Make sure both days you are getting paid. Mm. Because you can never rely mm. on the fickleness of the human nature. You ah. may think, ah, this is me. They supported me. They mm. showed everything. That day, nobody is in the mood to support you. Yes. Something else has happened to them in their face. Because everybody is dealing with their own what personal is issues. Yes, exactly. If it's not entertainment you are bringing, it will be turned into entertainment. Mm. And at the end of the day, what you wanted to achieve, you will not achieve. As a celebrity, observe the social space. You are not seeing the Obodo Yibo. You are here. And there's a way we behave. There are things. Our leg is doing the same thing. We out there. We, I understand that. And people should come and win something by telling us what uh, voters what can change do. Our How many people did you see come out? Oh, we, yes. we love gossip. Mm. So if you're ready to make your life Ridicule. You want your life to be ridiculed in public, carry everything mm. there. If yeah. you are smart, display. Yeah. So you, you display the one that... If you display your own, like she said, your own diamond outside and they mess it up, that's your business. Okay, yeah. let me go on a quick break. Let me come back and continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Your view will be right back. Someday when I grow up, I would like to be a great innovator or a singer or a doctor. Anything. That's why I support his dreams with Twisco. It's a delicious. No. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you our viewers will have the opportunity to call in and share your views after all it's your view join us on your view 9 a.m to 11 a.m for a fantastic conversation don't miss it <laughs>
How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup. Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script. Check. Are we set in the VCR? All team in place? VCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Script. Check. Are we set in the VCR? All team in place? VCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Thanks for staying with us. So I'm told that we've gone off TVC News International, but we're still on the TVC News Entertainment on um, Terrestrial. And it was also still on Facebook and um, online. Okay, gotcha. so Nima so, Maram was going to say yeah. something, but was so, saying, go ahead. Uh, Nima. So I wanted to talk about women who genuinely, because we this weekend I shared Liberos' post, and I got calls from me, big, very important people in society for sharing that post. And there were women who felt it was unjustified. My big sis, Chokwe Fajing Bessie, thought, no, she wants to vent. This is the age, let women talk genuinely and ask her if she needs help. And that's what, you know, should do. And um, although I've not called her back, but on this issue, I feel that I am in a marriage too. So let's be honest, all of us are in our marriages. And I, for my own, I don't know about another person. I've had issues and I have talked. I've never been quiet about my issues. Yeah. I call, I have people who have supported me through. I'm a better person because I have the support that I have. Mm. And the first thing is to look around you within your circle. I cannot even underestimate the help of my sisters-in-laws, my, you know, my, my auntie, the matron, Mrs. Bello, for the help that they did. Somebody that will tell you, Madam, wait. The, world, the sky will not fall because mm -hmm. of this problem. Because when you're in that kind of place, you're emotional. Yeah. You might not see things straight, but wait. Everyone will not fall. Until wait. Mm -hmm. Some will say, okay, just, okay, spend the night. Nima, please don't do anything stupid, but spend the night in my house. And that night, they're calming you down. The next morning, you see a bright sun, and it seems like you never had a problem. Because mm -hmm. if you let day break, someone will still come out. Yeah. It will seem like you never had a problem. But we will now leave all that circle of help and influence that we could have tapped into. I just go online. Some people don't have that, Nima. We have to be real. No, I don't, don't believe that. Kind of support no, system I don't that agree. That. I don't believe that. I don't agree. No matter how bad it is, you will find around Someone you. Someone for you. If it is not okay. within your so, in-laws, in, in the case of if your mother and call. Okay, so Nima, if the problem, if, 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 the, if the goal is not for you to solve my problem, mm. my goal is to spite you for what you did to me. Yeah. Hey. I'm not trying to solve a problem. Yeah. I want to put you out there because you goofed as well. So, so, so if you are goofy now, so I'm goofy I, and I can't stop I'll the do my own I can't beat you. But I can, use can, I can use my platform <laughs> to speak and tell <laughs> the world what I want to hear. Yes, now. Yeah, so I remember then, um, be long before social media, like if you had neighbors that used to fight, so would have some, um, and you have maybe yeah, some. Carol, everybody yeah, come and then the wife would come out screaming yeah. and telling what was happening. And you'd hear some women call her aside and like, no, discuss it within your home. And so many people have used that and said because they have been told to be silent and not mm. talk about it outside, they have been abused and disrespected in their homes. But it was seen as even a, a much more worse to come out and speak about it. So now I, I feel that people have now used that and have used taken mm. social media to be that place where they can come and vent and mm. speak up because we're saying do not be silent, come out and speak up. 
But if you find the woman who truly has an issue, issue. who truly mm -hmm. wants to solve it, usually there are steps that she would have taken. There are steps you would have taken to meet you, maybe um, elders in her family, people in church, you know, friends. Usually these people seek who they, tr who they believe know exactly what they are going through, who can help them. But when you see people come on social media, mm. there are a few things that happen. One, the person does it just out of, um, an, it's an outburst. And then they regret it after they've done it. Like, okay, I just needed to vent. And then God, God help you if you're somebody that already has such a huge following. Meaning if you vent, like if someone that has 10 followers vent, how many people will see? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. But if someone like Mariah should take a phone today and coughs in it, the you understand? So, life forever. Usually, so we are allowed to have outbursts. We're allowed to find ourselves in that position where we just want to just talk. But be careful if you're someone that has such a huge following. Mm. But going out on social media to talk, I find that most people just use it. Use, use the word. You said social media has now become a currency. Our likes and follows are now currency for other things. Mm. If you're a celebrity, if you're someone mm. out there, you know what it means to have many likes and many followers. It means that you put you on sort of a platform where businesses are looking to use you, you use your name and make you a brand for something. And sometimes I feel that people have gotten to that point and they're saying, how do I use this? to my advantage. How do I use this thing I'm mm, going through yeah. to my advantage? Let me take this call from Worry. Emmanuel, are you there? Hello, Emmanuel, are you there? Hello. How is uh, Olu of Worry or Giammy at two Ashe the third? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Emmanuel? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, over there. Good morning, good morning. sir. Yeah, it's a good topic. Uh, my opinion for number is uh, it's the result of society uh, has changed. I'm having uh, trouble hearing you. Society, the society has changed. The reason why is this. when there is a huge marriage, that can be a huge place to plus to enter the father to be sharing that marriage. I can't, I am, it's, no, it's not clear, man. Yeah, I do apologize. I couldn't hear you. Yes, Nima, yes. you so I, I wanted to say that um, what I see is that people who vent on social media are people who are not ready to move on from that situation. Those people who have made up their mind to move on, they don't say a word quietly. They will just disappear. You now, the day you now see them, uh -uh, we just notice that this person is no longer for, uh -uh, have they divorced? Uh -uh, have they, uh -uh, what, when did it happen? Because they have made up their mind. What I see is a lot of people use it as an avenue to get validation on their feelings. Mm. So they put it out there. This is what I'm going through. Then you have, you know, it's always That's for and against. Yes. They want to say, hey, Correct. God be punished. They, you know, they want to take up the battle. The other ones are saying, ah, no, why did you decide to do this? But the truth is, if you're a good human being in any situation, you must have one person who has your back. You must have one person who will hold your hand. You no matter what you're, you're facing, you in the midst of the water, somebody must be there. Find that person mm. for your, okay, sanity. let me even, for your sanity and also for posterity. Mm. Because the truth, especially when children are involved, now that one they pay me pass. Tomorrow, these kids will go out there and they will see all of these things. How do you now want to start explaining to them what they will be processing mentally? Mm. You must have damaged some things in their life in the bit of, let me speak my truth. Let me say it. Let me speak up. You can't speak up without shouting on social media. Mm. Find that one person, except you are not a good human being. Me... Somebody must support you. Even in that home where yes, it no. seems like your mother-in-law, yeah. your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law, all of them hate you. There must be a neighbor-in-law so, okay. so, so that would like let you. Me, let me come to Nima. Yeah. So yeah. women are angry that even though you have those people sometimes, the person that you are living with, they cannot reach that person soon. So if somebody is talking to a man and telling you, please stay, don't worry, he will change. He will be a better person. And you're there, but he's not changing. Mm. So some women will now say, okay, no, I've taken it too much and everything. I know a woman who I consider for me, her standard as my standard, who stayed and focused on what was important. She had four kids. She wasn't empowered. Even though the disrespect was not, there wasn't a violent, uh, domestic violent marriage, but she could deal with what she considered, the, you know, she focused. Mm. 30 years, bagam, she divorced. Mm. After 30 years. When the last born, it was not in her second child. 
till today she did not have a press briefing explanation to family members and the only family members are saying she tried. Mm. So uh, there's something she I tried, like she can't be going. She can't be going. <laughs> yeah, there's also something I want to make clear, to right? For okay. me, it's about conflict resolution. I don't mm. think that when you have conflict with someone, that social media is a place to go. Yeah, I don't but think I know of people who have come out to say, you know what? I don't have a roof over my head. Um, I'm suffering. I need food to eat. And they've gotten help. Those are different issues. Yeah, so. Uh, those are genuine. Uh, yeah, but we need to talk about that. So people don't say, oh, but people have gotten help. Mm. If you need help, like if you're coming up for yourself, Mm. for the issues that you have for yourself mm. not bringing someone else's mm. issue yeah, you, have you have a com you have a conflict mm. with someone then you bring, bring it, it out, out there. without even giving the other person a chance to either um you know defend themselves right. or even be aware that you're about to do this okay let me take this final call yinka are you there from the uk go ahead please i'm here you're live good morning everybody. morning good morning good morning can you hear me yes very yeah. clearly go ahead let please. me quickly say it because i'm the final caller the first thing is that uh, in nigeria i'm a nigerian as we use things that we see as free, uh, you know, free things. We use it as anything and anyhow. Mm. And you know, the owner of this uh, social media attach money to it. The more you have your follower, the more you are going to pay us. So anything they put into it. Mm. Let me quickly digress. In your daily newspaper, you said talking about the story of a boy that butchered or killed the grandfather. Mm. And you think it's a kind of a spiritual warfare. No. The boy is suffering from schizophrenia. Yeah. He's suffering from schizophrenia. Please. He needs a mental health uh, doctor to look into it and prescribe medication for him. Yeah. He's hearing voices. He's hearing voices. He can't see right. anything. Thank it's you, Inga. Thing. Thank you very much, Inga. We have to wrap up. We're out of the time. Uh, we'll take a few more. But I, I would like to argue the point that, oh, the internet never fails, never forgets. Mm. Because sometimes we, it doesn't. So, you know, the, but the, the, the truth is that our parents in our head live this perfect life, but we know it wasn't perfect. Not at all. So if my kids grow up to see my mistakes online, should I, should I, should I be judged for that? If, I, if, if my kids grow up and say, oh, mom, you did this, you wrote this about daddy, you wrote this. See, life, life happens. We're not perfect. Not and it's an evidence to show that I wasn't a perfect mother no, either. Yes, but I was a perfect human being. more issues than no, no. a man you know, gets a child to, uh, trains a child that does not belong and the DNA is posted everywhere there. Those are, there are some it issues that we can let go. You that you know your skeleton uh, is not even You're not carrying matter that outside. Your skeleton ...them and I cannot be them. Me say, if I get my own headache and I have people I vent to, even though it's true, social media it would be between us so you can use what emmanuel esrada says social media court is both terrible yet good if we're seeing a growing trend in bringing marital issues online it is because most of those who do not have we can take on the show i think do what works for you yeah. if you want to put it out there know that there'll be the good the bad the ugly and yes, chest yes. it just and if you're a private person, keep your matters private. Mm. But either way, let's be responsible in all we do. Yeah. Let's go on a break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Wow. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. 
TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey, as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All team in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're gonna have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Thanks for staying with us. So we continue with our periodic review of the awaited 2023 general elections. Many political observers are saying the country must get it right come 2023. Failure to do so will spell doom for us. Now, how can we fix leadership deficiency that has become a bane of problems? Um, joining us now on the show is the Chairman Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kako, Mr. Debo Adeniro. Welcome to the show. It's my pleasure. You can Thank call you. us on 081-270-53687. 091-390-76948. You can also send us a message on YouTube and Facebook. We'll be happy to read your messages. So, Mr. Adeniro. That's right. Uh, 2023 elections are around the corner. People are already thinking about there are different layers. There's the zoning issue. Whose turn is it? There is who are we looking for regardless of the zones. There is how are we prepared as the electorate to actually participate. You know, there are different layers of issues. So, yes, is there, how do we even start this conversation on getting Nigerians prepared for 2023 elections? Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, we have to look at uh, what are the questions that the opposition and the critics are raising okay. about the present, you know, setup or setting. Uh, first, they talk about uh, somebody having a military background. Uh, military background, using the military tactics and strategies to govern civilian populace. You know, we have to also be realistic about it. 
one way or the other, that has impact, impacted negatively on the democratic ethos that ought to be yeah. a sine qua non. Uh, when you look at uh, people are talking about uh, uh, intellectual, you know, um, makeup mm. of those who are really ruling us. Uh, we cannot, of course, we have argued that that you went to university doesn't mean that you are intellectually sound. Yes. And that if somebody uh, was not trained by the state, it cannot be limited by qualification for contesting an election in this country. Right. That the people should determine, mm. you know, what they want. But then, if you are lucky to... Um, be intellectual, I mean, to have, to have been educated one way or the other, then you are luckier than the one who didn't have the opportunity of yeah, going yeah, to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because the education you receive, we do a lot in mm. preparing you right. for the challenges ahead in understanding the dynamics of, you know, the polity, right. governance, and even... Uh, yeah. comparative, I mean, you'll be able to do comparative analysis between what is right, what is wrong, what had been, what is, and what can be. So that intellectual aspect of it will help in determining how successful mm -hmm. or otherwise we can be. Then, if you are also intellectually sound, you won't be afraid that somebody might have some information that you don't have. Because you will have had the capacity to read and understand, you know, the dynamics of the policy. And then you will be able to make your own mm. speech, even if it's ex extempore. But you let, let me you'll be able to analyze situations yeah. and you'll be uh, sufficiently versatile yeah. to see anything and speak to in your economics, to... Right. In, in military. Before I come to the ladies, yeah. sir, let me, let, me, let me stay on your intellectual soundness for a second. because. Yes, there's, there are two parts of it. There's intellectual soundness of the, 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 the candidate or the person. That's right. I'm referring to the intellectually soundness of the people, the electorate. Yes. Do we, are, are we intellectually sound to pick and be objective in who we are selecting, who we are campaigning for, mm. that regardless of ethnicity, their religion, and all that? Can we, do we have that background to do that? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you see, before now, before recent times, uh, Nigerians are intellectually sound enough to understand, you know, the, uh, uh, the need for merit rather mm. than, uh, uh, what do you call it now, primordial consideration. Okay? They knew that there are certain people, it doesn't matter even if they come from the same premises, in the same company, mm. in the same locality. As long as they can deliver the goods, Nigerians are sound enough to recognize mm. good service when it is delivered. Mm. It is when this, uh, there's the value for, 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 for expectation, I don't want to say value for money now, no, is uh, not being met by our leaders. When they see parochialism in the way they govern, when they see nepotism, is the reason why they begin to complain that, oh, we want somebody from our own backyard. But then, that does not translate, it doesn't automatically translate to development. That mm. is infrastructural development mm -hmm. in the area. Because we have had people from the southwest before, mm. the southwestern part didn't develop. Mm. We have had somebody from south-south, the south-southern part of the country didn't develop. Mm. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of you know, inadequacies mm. in all of those. When you look at all the good things of life that people actually want to get right. out of okay. how, but then, yeah. how, how do you think we can solve our problem of leadership deficiency? What are some of the things we can do as electorates to ensure that we do not keep making the same problem at every election? Now, oh, of course, we can do the same thing the same way all around and we expect different results. One of those things that you can do is what you are doing here. If every media house, I mean, every media house is doing this kind of public enlightenment uh, program, your content will allow people to ex express their mind, and you will do on what actually are the needs of the people. Then the people will key into, they will buy into the government that we 
come in. So the way to recruit leader, leaders or leadership in this country is to first and foremost educate people mm. that they should forget the personal affinity, um, relationship, uh, nepotism, and the rest of them. They should look for the best candidate for any job that they want to uh, give to them. Then once the people know their own duty as electorate, they will ask critical questions. When those who are scouting for votes get to them, mm. they should ask questions about education, about healthcare delivery, about uh, food production, about uh, business economy, about uh, general you know, need of the people that will make them live like human beings. They should ask them critical questions about corruption. How are they going to tackle issue of corruption? Mm. Because it doesn't matter what happens. People will still want to amass you know, more resources than the so, uh, ordinary lady yeah, the, 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 the this, serve. Based on our experience in yes. 2015, yes. do you think these questions that we need to ask is the way to go? Considering that we run a structural politics where everybody needs a party, platform. Nigerians voted what I call a protest vote. Yeah. We did not like status quo. We wanted to change, change it at all costs. Yeah. But working it out was another issue because the platform needs structure. The people in the structure are... The, uh, the, the, way, uh, the way it is, <laughs> let me not use it. The same. Yeah. They, uh, so even though we all have this knowledge, we know the questions to ask. We ask them. We went there with the mindset that this is what I want to see. This is how I will vote. After I was everybody just... You see, the mm -hmm. elites think that they have that uh, 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 super mandate to think on behalf of the of generality the of the people. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. Okay? Um, and that is the reason why the question you ask as journalists, you think that is the question you ask on behalf of the people. Mm. No. Because, look, you are the same people, okay? Those people that are... That are Destroying our economy came out of the elites. And mm. that's what, what led to Boko Haram in mm. some part of the country. Because mm. they know that it is only those who went to school that were able to corner what should belong to everybody. Mm. You get it. Except when you have somebody with a sand background who had been coming all the way without any blemish. Mm. Who had made a name in a particular profession and made enough uh, in, in, enough resources for himself even before he contests the election and you know that they will not want to destroy it overnight. Mm. You don't now pick somebody who had always been a politician all his life mm. everything that he has got he got into through politics mm. he didn't have he didn't have good education he didn't have good skill mm -hmm. he just came to politics with a view to amass wealth and, can play and the wealth. Game. As a matter of fact, the people see those people who are in politics to make money and they can identify them. But because of what you people in the media project to them, those who have access to social media, they deceive people into, into voting those that don't deserve their votes. Wow. They paint a glowing tribute to thieves, common thieves who had manage the resources of this country over the time. Okay, let me so, go on. Yes. Let, let me go on a break because mm. when I think about it, you said somebody that has um that has gone without blemish. Yes. I don't know if you can find that. No, I'm not saying no, no. An I mean, industry. We, yeah, we, you see blemish. Uh, there are there are blemish. There are I mean there are blemishes. There are blemishes. There are categories to this. There are categories to blemish. But okay. then there are certain people mm. that are not so notorious. You know, with their mm -hmm. blemishes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so if blemishes doesn't overshadow your goodness, okay. then you are better than okay. the blemish has whose, respect. Whose blemish is the hey, okay. of Hey, your blemish. Hey, your blemish went to Harvard. Let's go. Let's go on a break. We we'll come back to continue this conversation with Mariam. Stay with us, brother. <laughs>
A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup? Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script? Check. Are we set in the PCR? All time in place? PCR? Check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are... Plants all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How we're doing, guys? A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review 
and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of your view and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Thanks for staying with us. We're still speaking with the Chairman Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Mr. Debo Adenio. Yes, you yeah. had a question before the break. Yes, so, um, you know, having spoken about leaders without blemishes, let's say we find that sort of person and you have chosen that person to represent you. People will tell you that when they get to the polls, their votes don't count. Their votes don't matter. We have a system that really people have no trust for. We selected, yes. So where we, so people most, so the the um, thinking behind it is why do, why should I bother when the person I want and when I vote my vote will not count for the person anyway. It is really not true. It is a myth that votes don't count. Mm -hmm. If votes don't count, politicians will not come to you to converse. Mm -hmm. They won't transverse the country, you know, to campaign, to mm -hmm. set their program and agenda to the, the same people. And they won't even pretend, you know, they won't ask you to go to polling booths to cast your ballots. Okay? So don't. Don't buy into that. It is those who want to rig election that are selling that. Uh, what you do, as a matter of fact, nobody can rig an election where it's not popular. Okay, so if the people are behind you, it was a uh, professor, but yeah, I'm repeating it now. I once said it at a forum. You know that if a people is united, they can never be defeated. Okay, it was because people united against Baban Gida that they had to step aside. You know, people united against Shonekon. And when they got to court, you know, Justice Akins, uh, Ak was it Akins, uh, yeah, declared his interim national government illegal. Mm -hmm. People un united against Abacha. He didn't find it easy. Running our affairs. People are united so, at but answers. What I'm telling you, Doing answers, we were united. You were united, yes. but that is momentary. It is that is not unity. Mm. Okay. That is um, that is a, a kind of um, a flash in the pan. You can say, you know, the people just were ecstatic about what was going on there. Yeah. Some went there to eat, some mm. went there to listen to music, some went there to dance mm. and all of those things. Some went there to display their skills. So okay. it was like a carnival of a sort. And that was why it fizzled out as soon as uh, somebody came and said, you should go to your places. So that is not the kind of un unity we are talking okay. about. Unity of purpose, unity of mind, unity of vision. So when people determine that, look, we want a ruler that has a track record of success, of humanity, of humanism, that is the kind of person we are going to vote for. Now, it, the politicians themselves are not supposed to sit down uh, and allow opposition or me, their, what do you call it, rivals, you know, to take over the space. Mm. Mm. Sir, yes. The people who have track record, who yes. have, you know, good track su record, yes, succeeded no. in industries, different yes. industries, yes, exactly. are really not interested in politics and leadership. How do we make those people? Because there are people I see and I admire. They have yeah. built from ground up. Exactly. They have leader, yes, they have, have right. leadership qualities. Yeah. And they, you know that the way they have you know, taken their business from one level to the other, if they come to the helm of affairs of our country, That's we right. will see a positive change. Yeah, but exactly. those people are not interested. How do we get them interested to save Nigeria? It is the people that actually frittered away their interest. If they know that if you that you are likely to vote for them, but if they are not sure that you are going to stand by them mm. to ensure that those ballots truly count, mm. you know they will mm. lose interest. Yeah. Then it is the people who are going to refuse to rig election for those who don't deserve the mm. elect. I mean to be elected yeah. now. If the people know what they want and they are going for it, then they should be ready not to spare anything mm. to, defend, to defend the person that they want. Mm. Now, people of good mind, of good intention, of good pedigree, you know, we come. 
to contest election. The reason why it was rough was because we allow touts, we allow brigands, we allow well, them to us. take over. No, it is because you became too scared, complacent. then complacent, mm. and you kept on, you know, it's scaring exactly. yourself away. You know, you, mm. you, you become a scare giver. So when you say, no, they have to number you, they have to number you, stay back. You are, they have to number you, you stay back. Then who will be in the forefront? Now, if we agree that these people that cause themselves thugs, they don't have metals at their arms, and they don't have two heads, then we should be able to confront them. They, we, we at number, honest people actually at number dishonest people in this country. Mm -hmm. It is because of inactivity of honest ones that the dishonest ones okay. are holding this way. Yeah. So yeah. we should not allow them. Yep. And your education yeah. should, should point at that, that look, those who are honest, you know, should not stay back because bad people run government where good people see, I mean, they become laid by. Right. That is not good for us. So we want a change. We should be prepared to put everything on the line okay. to effect go that out. change of system. Right, Nima, yes. We have put this um, on the people now. But the system we run, like I said again, it's a system that is, is heartbreaking. For parties, for instance, when we studied the history of how political parties were formed, party members paid dues, yes. funded the activities of parties. Yes. But now, we see uh, party leaders are no longer party Adam. members. They are the seat holders, the governors in a state, for instance. So you control resources. Mm. In the, the president is the party leader. Yes. In his, how does this system change? Let me do this anal analogy. You are the owner of your uh, matchstick and matchbox, okay? You strike a match, mm. it goes, and you throw it at something that can burn, mm. okay? By the time it becomes a conflagration, you won't be able to douse it alone. Mm. You need help. Okay? You need help. Now, the truth is this. It doesn't matter that you establish a party. As long as you register it under the Nigerian constitution, it becomes a public property. Now, if nobody allow him or herself to be scared away, then you face, you come face to face with somebody who wants to overwhelm your humanity. Mm -hmm. Then you tell that person that, look, here I am. I have ev almost everything that you have and more intellectually, um, politically, um, professionally, and everything. So, eyeballs to eyeball, I will say, who are you, Ray? Mm. Now, if you have that confidence to say, who are you to stop me from mobilizing my people towards, uh, I mean, changing or exchanging That's the, the bad system? You just might be the and this situation, but then, no, well, nobody is a no voice. party. It's because you are not joining me. It is right. because you are not joining me on this table that it sounds as if I'm low, I mean, yeah. lone voice. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if all of us, now, supposing we want to do a, a poll here, yeah. you join me, she joins me, she joins me, we overwhelm anybody that is skeptical mm. about okay, the future sir, of our, let, of our, let me, of our, let me our ask country. Unity. Let me, let me ask you this. Unity of purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let, right. let purpose. me ask you yes, this, sir. because yeah. in a multicultural yeah. and highly polarized society as yes, Nigeria, right. Mm. There are trust issues. Yes. Within. So we can't trust you with your own leader. Leader from your own side, I don't trust. Because I believe that when you come in, you're going to only benefit people from your own end. Mm. So we have trust issues. So yeah. it's difficult to have a consensus leader mm. when mm. there are trust issues amongst our tribes. So everybody's talking about decentralized. They're saying restructuring. Let us have, let everybody regions. hold their regions. Because there's, there, there, there's that trust issue. I don't trust I you. So how do we pick a leader when we are highly polarized? You see... It is the same politicians and the media that actually polarized us. We, did, we were not like this before. And somehow, when these elites, they pump money to the media, media projects them with their view narrow and their parochial, selfish issues, mm -hmm. and people bought it hook, line, sinker, maybe the fisherman. That is what is propagating it. But we can reverse all of this. Okay, if we believe that we don't have to be that parochial, if we believe that we don't have to be primordial anymore, if we believe that we need each other 
to run a successful you know, mm -hmm. policy. Then all of us will join hand, forgetting about religion, forget it happened. In 1993 was, I mean, a case study. Oshun State is a, also a case study where you have Muslim succeeding Muslim and succeeding Muslim. So what have we lost? Kwara State is another example. You have all of them. So you, you, if we, you people in the media and we force it on elites to reverse themselves from uh, uh, kind of uh, bringing up all of these sentiments, then we are going to have somebody who is confident enough, who is acceptable to all and sundry. Just like uh, MK Abiola was, uh, was acceptable to a cross-section of the people, and he, 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 he won. <laughs> so, against <laughs> a Bashar, okay? So when you look at Bashar and Abiola, you know that people naturally chose the best in that they thought they okay, will, will, okay, right. will yeah. get them out of poverty. So. A people united will not be defeated if you people didn't misrepresent them okay. in the media. How hmm. important is it for us to get 2023 right? What okay. does that mean for our economy, our democracy, and just as an entity, the entity of Nigeria? Thank you very much. Aha. This is the critical people, moment. Yes. We have gotten it right sometimes before. We have kind of polluted the innocent atmosphere mm -hmm. that we were running our polity before. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to look backward. What was it that was wrong? When it was right, why was it right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, the population was not as much as we have it in those days when things were said to be right. Now, the population it has grown tremendously. Now... We have to restructure our policy to suit the new population and the new orientation. There wasn't social media in those days. There, it, is, it was difficult for somebody to kind of incite the public against the government. Then it was also difficult for government to kind of uh, control the mindset of the public by their publicists, okay. okay? So these days, you hire people to go on all the social media to tune the mind, to wrongly tune the mind the of the people to accept them. So what we should do now is for you in the media to work with other media houses that look, enough is enough. enough. Mm. We should not allow uh, politicians that do not mean well for the people to run our affairs anymore. Mm. We should truly, if there is a debate, the debate should not be a kind of uh, guided debate. You know, nobody should see the question in advance. As a matter of fact, the question should come directly from the people if it is proper. Mm. Organically. You should. I did I did, I did a kind of small survey on my Facebook page, you know, between Saturday and this morning. You know, I mean, people, some people criticize this, some people, but when you see the way people voted, mm. you know that it was unbiased, it was mm -hmm. balanced. Mm. Now, this is the job for the media, for civil society organizations like ours. We at CACOL, we are also doing public enlightenment program on what to look at for yeah. what question to ask we, we to. have to run because i mean okay. we, we, the truth is the last elections we saw mogalu mm. yes. mogalu come out we saw fela come out yeah. we saw a lot of people who you, were trying to take the bull by the horn say listen give me a chance i'll do it but unfortunately we the people didn't support so, yeah we're also not united so, so so i guess it's that preparation that's why it's important that we're all on the same page as we walk towards it i mean your final words on this just to reiterate to mariam's question if, if we don't get 2023 right, what happens? We need to get it right. Yeah. Otherwise, Nigeria may go under. Yeah, we need to get somebody who understands the system. We need to actually go all out to choose that person mm. that has that good track record. Mm. I'm not talking about saints. They are not 
I mean, <laughs> saints are not here anymore. Yes, right. Because even if they didn't commit any crime, some people will have committed crime. some yeah. crime yeah. Uh, uh, on yeah. their behalf. Right. But then what we can do is to look at, uh, we have to psychoanalyze all of them. Yeah. We have to examine where they are coming from. Mm. And we, we zero in mm. on the best candidate. The best candidate is there. People, I mean, have spoken about those, even in the present government, as bad as a lot of people have criticized yeah, this, they have spoken about a few of them that okay. have stood out yeah. and they have performed well when yeah. they have the opportunity. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes when the president traveled, a number of things took place yeah. and people commended okay. those who we have to uh, run uh, stood, run I mean, we, uh, 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 the gap. You, yeah. You, yeah. You, 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 you confuse me. Sorry, I'm sorry, no, I don't apologize. Those who stood <laughs> around for him, yes, they yes. commended the few steps they have taken mm. because they are not impervious to suggestions. Yes. Okay. And they also study the tempo and the, the, the temperature of the society, and they are able to do that. If they were able to right. do that then, then they should be able to do okay. it again. We should right. look into such okay. directions right. and Thank get you our very, candidates. Very Thank you much. very much. We speak at the Chairman Center for Anti-Corruption and Local Leadership, Kako. Mr. Debadino, thank you very much for being on the show today. That's all we can take on the show. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.